salutations and welcome back to Hobbiton, my survival world in the Attack of the B-Team mod pack. I am your host, Dapper Demon, and I actually already recorded this first part of this episode, but uh, DX Story wasn't working right, and then my computer froze up and I had to force restart it. So that video got corrupted, and now I can't delete it until I boot my computer into safe mode. Woo! So anyway, um, today what we're doing is we have one goblin house left to build, and then on Friday, we will put a fence around this whole place and make it safe for our goblin villagers. You know, no mobs spawning, none of that crazy stuff going on. So, that'll be fun. Uh, Saturday, hopefully, we can do the live stream thing if I get that working. Uh, what did I say in my last time I recorded this? I think I do have a Twitter account. I never use it, but in this case, I might have to because... Um, if, uh, if some of you don't have a Twitch account, or if you do, if you don't want to follow me just to see me live stream like one or two things every 50 years or so, then uh, I will probably put on Twitter when I'm live streaming. So, if, if I do figure that out, if not, then I'll just put on Twitter, hey, sorry, no live stream today, I'm a failure at figuring out how to live stream, so. But anyway, um, so yeah, I will post a link to both my Twitch account and my Twitter account down in the description. For today and Friday only! Do, 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 do. Anyway, so we have one more house to build, and I'm going to grab the materials to do that, and we can get on with it. So, I will see you in a bit. Well, bad news. I tried to cut down a mine, uh, palm tree from that uh, horrible, horrible Tropicraft mod that I absolutely hate, with a burning passion of a thousand fiery suns, and the game crashed, so our world is gone because I didn't have a backup copy of it. So unless I can figure out some way to get it back, hopefully I can, probably won't be able to, then that's probably, I don't know, I might have to, let me see if I can figure this out. I managed to recover the world using a tactic that I guess it's good. Uh, I lost everything that was in my inventory, though. There is a way to get that back, supposedly. I'll have to figure that out. I can do that later, though. For now, I'm just going to finish building this dang goblin house, and then I will try to get back to things. It's interesting, though. Like, I guess this is technically a diff It's a new world, but I copied the... It's got the world seed, I guess, technically? So some things are the same and some things are completely different, like, or should be different, I don't know. I, I really don't know what's, what to, to, I mean, like, I, I didn't lose my, my morphs, for instance, I've still got those, which is good, because those are useful. Um, I don't have my genetics, and apparently I don't have any of my witch powers. So, you know what, I'm not going to worry about that right now, I'm going to build this house, and then I'm going to uh, figure that out before Friday, hopefully, how to get all my stuff back. So, yeah, um, see you in a bit. Okay, so the original plan was to use palm wood for the, uh, the dock and everything, and the floor maybe, and the roofs. But clearly that didn't work out, so, um, I'm going to use pine instead. So... We have this here, and I'm actually going to cut this down to size, maybe a little bit more. There we go, and pardon me, a couple of those, that way we can do this. I'm going to one of those there, one of those maybe like, actually no, I want that a little lower. See, we don't have our fancy tools that we spent, like, a week making, so we just have to use our, our regular, you know, non-fancy iron tools until we figure out how to get those back. If we figure out how to get those back. Hopefully we do. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, what was I going to do? I need dirt. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna take care of the floor thing, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we've got the the dock down, and of course I tested this fence by jumping repeatedly against it. Now, there is a fence, of course, that will hinder the ability of the goblins to fish, but I don't think they can fish naturally anyway. And even if they could, I can't allow them to fish, because then they could possibly escape. I mean, 
things could come in from the dock, of course. Like that zombie there. See, that that thing's going across the water. And, yeah. Now, I did I did take the time to get my, uh, my genetics back. I don't have my weapons or anything, and I'm missing all of my Tinker's Construct hearts. But I have my genetics back, so that's nice. Um... I want to make the walls of this in a different material than the dock and the fence, though. So, I'm going to figure out what material that will be, and I will see you in a bit. Actually, maybe I should just make it this acacia wood. That might look, that might look nice. Oh, well, I'll decide that and see you in a bit. I forgot the only reason the skeletons and zombies don't, don't normally attack me is because I'm usually wearing a coat for that. So, I miss my coat. And my sword that can kill things in, like, two hits. I miss those. I miss those a lot. Yeah, I got the walls up now. They're made of magic wood, so that's nice. Um, going to put the other door frame on. Real, that's not what I wanted. Gonna put the other door frame on real quick. And the, the roof and the door frames, I guess, will be made out of this pine still. Because... You know, it's here, and it's there. It's here and there. Anyway. Uh, there we go. Yeah, um. Actually, there we go. We can have more of that. Cut that in half, and that should give us plenty. So I'm going to finish the roof, and I'll see you in a bit. You know what, I've decided, this place is a little too spacious for just a goblin villager. I mean, would a goblin villager, just a standard villager, really deserve a place like this? This is a nice big place here, and it's got an ocean, or a river view, like, a, it's a riverfront home, that's what I'm trying to say here. So this is a nice place. I think what I'm going to do is make this our goblin mayor's office, because every village needs a mayor, right? Every, every village needs a leader, and, you know, ideally that would be me, obviously. Or Jareth, because he is the goblin king, and he is currently trapped. I think... Oh, no, I lost Jareth. Jareth is in my... I have to get that inventory back. Well, anyway, um... In lieu of the goblin king, in, in his absence, I guess, we'll need a goblin mayor. So... Yeah, uh, uh, so I'm gonna get some furniture ready, and basically set up that little shack as a mayor's office, and I will see you in a bit. Okay, so this is kind of unfinished, but I'm running really late for class almost, and I don't know, um, yeah, I'll, I'll put the glass and stuff in, in between this episode and the next one and just show you everything in, and, and of course I've lost some of my tools, so I can't really do what I need to for this. Uh, I'll work on getting those back before next episode, but, um, yeah. So what we have here is the, the flower pot has a jacaranda wood in it because that popped up when I was looking for wood and it looked nice, so I did that. I, luckily, I got a few of those blue milk caps before I left the uh, area they were in. Excuse me, so there's that. The carpenter's block is, uh, or the, the bed, you know, he's a mayor, so he doesn't need some fan some dirty, you know, cobblestone bed or something like that. He needs these fancy... Uh, carpet blocks that you can make so he's got one of those and he's got a red blanket instead of white because as you can see he is the mayor and he deserves luxury so I will over between now and next episode fix this place up a little better make it you know suitable for a mayor's office and I will do all that and try to get my inventory back so until then thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like but until next time farewell